viewers to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at the November 2022 Science Paper 1. In the previous episode, we looked at question e, B7. Let us look at question e, B8. Figure B8.1 shows a core of inflated wire wound around a U-shaped core A B and connected to a battery to make an electromagnet. So we have the core, then we have the source of our current, then we have the direction of our current. Then our question A state the property of end A. So because this is an electromagnet, so end A is either basically a north or south pole. So for us uh, to tell the property, we need to know what A is. So to find A, we use uh, basically what is known as the right and grip law. So that's what we are going to use. For us to use this, we need to know uh, basically the direction of a uh, current. So basically, Having determined the direction of the current, we know that uh, basically the current is uh, in uh, this direction. Then uh, basically we can uh, basically use the uh, light and grip loom to apply to this for us to determine the whether it's north or south pole. So basically uh, what we know is uh, basically the direction of the thumb is in the north. So now we know the direction of the current, you see uh, the way I've indicated there. So what you do is you need to come and hold uh, basically this using the grip thumb loom. So you grip it like that, then uh, these are fingers pointing in the direction of the current, which is this direction. So what you notice in this case, the thumb is pointing downward, so A should be north, then uh, if A is north, this should be south. So now if A is north, North Pole, what are the properties of uh, the North Pole? So uh, the property of the North Pole is uh, basically uh, this we tend to point in the north direction as would be the case when the magnet is uh, freely uh, suspended. So basically um, the property of end A is uh, basically it would point in the north direction when a suspended in suspended a freely indicating that it is in a basically the north a pole that's in the property then a beam Describe one way of increasing the strength of this uh, electromagnet. So we are only required to uh, mention one. So basically, I uh, will give you two. Uh, the first one is basically by increasing the current uh, through the circuit. So the current flowing in this circuit, if you increase it, we increase uh, the strength of uh, ele electromagnet. Uh, then, number two, increasing the uh, number of uh, basically wound. So the number of uh, wound around the uh, U-shaped uh, core. So if you increase here the number of wounds that are increased, then we can increase uh, the strength of uh, the electromagnet. Question C, Loma numeral 1, what material must be used for the core? So uh, the material that should be used uh, for the core should be a uh, basically soft iron. So soft iron should be used uh, for uh, basically this uh, core AB. Lemma number two of sim, just for your answer. So uh, the answer is uh, basically uh, this is because soft iron get magnetized easily and also forms strong 
temporal magnet then it also get demagnetized easily so that's a basically the answer that you give so what you notice in this case is once the current start a flowing once you close this switch at uh, this core will easily get magnetized as long as the current is flowing once the current stop flowing this coil will lose its magnetism as long as the current stop are flowing so this is the best material for temporal magnet so basically uh, this is how you answer question 8 Thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, episode. If you find this video to be helpful, please uh, consider liking and also if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. By liking, subscribing and sharing, you are going to help us improve our visibility. A simple like from you makes a big difference. So once you subscribe to our channel and go to our channel, we discover that we've got uh, so much content. So we've got uh, mathematics are based on revision questions, we've got our physics, we've got our chemistry, then we've got also topic based uh, section for all the subjects. And this is uh, the best uh, section for you if you're having any challenges in uh, any particular topic.